It's playoff time in League One, ladies and gentlemen. Peterborough are against Leighton Orient. Jeff, what do you reckon? Well, they've had similar seasons because they mm. both started really, really well. Peterborough tailed off. They had that good JPT run, won the competition. The end of the season was, was very good for them, five wins in the last eight. As for Orient, they looked for a long time that they were going to get automatic promotion. It fell away badly. The end of the season, I think it was one win in eight before, losing, before winning the last two. I think Peterborough might fancy this. Even though they finished a long way behind them, I think that that might just be with them. And I think the Darren Ferguson fact they've been to Wembley this season, they're desperate to get back there. Do you think that's a point? I mean, the Darren Ferguson said as well, he says, I love being in the playoffs, which is the kind of language <laughs> you want your manager to come out with. Yeah, you'd be worried if he said the opposite. Yeah, I hate being in the playoffs. <laughs> this is rubbish. Um, <laughs> my concern is they loaned out Lee Tomlin. Now, I saw him in the, the Carling, or the Capital One Cup, rather, really early in the season, and I really thought he was brilliant. And I think it's a bit like George Boyd when he kind of departed the scene. There's a bit of creativity lost in that midfield. And I think mm. in games like this, especially against Leighton Norwich, who I think have a very good midfield. I think it's mm. battle of the forward lines. Now you're a, talking. A sombre longer, mm. Peterborough. And I think for Orient, uh, someone I played with, Kevin Lisby, scored a Premier League hatchet against Liverpool, believe it or not, many, many years the ago. Evergreen the Evergreen Kevin, evergreen <laughs> Kevin <laughs> Lisby. Uh, and David Mooney yeah. up front. So that's a good combination, two experienced strikers. So I personally think it's going to be a shootout. Peterborough remind me of one of those teams that will score more than the opposition. Um, and I they've just been like that for a long time, though, haven't yeah. they, Matt? That, it seems, it's the yeah, way it seems in their yeah. DNA that, that it, it's great to watch if you're, yeah. if you're a supporter. Perhaps not defensively quite as good. True, though, but, yeah. true. But as you said, they, I mean, they won the Johnson's Paint Trophy, of course, so mm. they've got pedigree in cup competitions. The playoffs, as everybody said, is effectively a cup competition. So mm. that goes in their favour. And they've also got the experience of, of winning the playoffs about three years ago. Uh, under uh, Ferguson? Yeah, under Ferguson. Mm. Then, of course, he went off and, and, and came back. And that's the thing, you know, sometimes I think managers are good fits for football club. Mm. Gary Johnson at Yeovil, Eddie Howe at Bournemouth, and I think Darren Ferguson at, at Peterborough, he knows how to work with Barry Fry, knows how to work with Darren McAntony, and I think that can, that can be quite important. Yeah, Christian, who are you going for, in a word? Peterborough. Peterborough. Jeff? Peterborough. Matt? Peterborough. Really? <laughs> oh, I'll go late Norin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, tweet us who you think. The boys are thinking Peterborough. If you disagree, then tweet us at Ball Street. And also, if you want to win VIP tickets to the playoffs, go to papajohns.co.uk forward slash football. 